Good morning, little ones! Welcome back to another episode of Kids Life. I'm Teacher Kathy, and this is my daughter, Leia. And with us is our puppet friend, Violet. Violet. Today, we also have Teacher May. Hi, Teacher May! Hi, Teacher Kathy. Hi, Leia and Violet. Hello, little ones. We are going to be your teachers for this morning. And we are excited that you are all here with us today. That's right! That's right, Thea! <coughs> and we can't wait to start today's Kids Life episode because we have a lot of exciting things planned for you. But before we sit down and use our eyes and ears to listen to the rest of the episode, let's play a quick game! Come on, Thea! Let's play a quick game! We'll be playing a game we've played before and it's called Traffic Lights! What's this, Thea? Now, call, what color is this, Thea? Come here. Green. Green. Green means go, just like what they did. And what's this, Thea? Wait, the next color? Yellow. Yellow. How about this one? Red. Red. Red means stop. Stop. That's right. Go, Mama. So, our game is called Traffic Lights. Because we will follow the instructions of the traffic lights. Okay, so when I show you color green, oh, what will you do? You run. Run, they run. <laughs> run. But when I show you color yellow, come here, come here. When I show you color yellow, you slow down. Walk slow. Walk slow. Walk slow. Very good. And then when I show you red, what will you do? You will stop. And freeze. Come on, freeze. Okay. So, are you ready? If you're ready, you can get ready by standing up. Okay, stand up, Thea. And let's start our game in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go. The first color is green. What will you do? Run. Go, run. Okay, and the next color is, come here, come here. Next color is red. What will you do? Stop and freeze. Next color is yellow. Wait, slow down. Step, slowly, slowly. Very good. And next is green. Green again. Run. Run. Or you can dance. And then stop. And then come here, dear. Yellow. Slow. Slow. Walk slowly here. Come here. You show them. Come here, Thea. Okay. Thea is walking slowly. Okay. <laughs> hey, great job, little ones. Great job. You give them a clap. Clap. Clap your hands. Thank you, Teacher Kathy, for our fun traffic light game. And great job, little ones, for following so well. I think you are ready for our next activity. So let us prepare our hearts and our minds for the rest of our Kids Life episode through our praise and worship song. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourself. Yeah. 
great job singing along to our song for today. Now, it's time for our memory verse. We get our memory verse from the Bible, from the Word of God. And our memory verse for today is found in Mark chapter 12, verse 31. It says here, Love your neighbor as yourself. Now, who is our neighbor? Is our neighbor the people living near us? So does it mean that when we love our neighbor, we should only love those people who live near us? Hmm, not exactly. Teacher Kathy will tell you more about this memory verse later in her Bible lesson. But for now, let us say and act on our memory verse so you could easily remember it. Are you ready? Great, let's start. So when we say our memory verse, we do this. So Mark 12, 31, you just open your hand and you follow this. And when we say love, do this. Your neighbor, you point the people around you. And then when we say yourself, you point yourself. So are you ready? Can we say our memory verse again, but this time with action? Okay. So Mark chapter 12 verse 31 love your neighbor as yourself so can you do it by yourself Great. Can we say it one more time? Mark chapter 12, verse 31. Love your neighbor as yourself. Great job, little ones. Now, let's listen to Teacher Kathy as she tells us the Bible lesson for today. <music> Kids, it's now time for our Bible lesson. In the last episode, we learned about Paul and how he taught the people in Thessalonica the right way to follow God in a humble and gentle way. When we love someone, we want the very best for them. For example, since your daddy loves you so much, he wants the very best for you. He wants you to grow up to be the best person you can be. Paul, as mentioned in 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 11-12, to 12, was like that with the people in Thessalonica. Paul, Silas, and Timothy went to Thessalonica to teach the people about God. Paul and his team loved the people there and that they wanted them to follow God with their whole heart. That is what we, as well as your parents and your other teachers, want for you. We, want, we all want you to grow up, to love God, and to follow Him all your life. Do you have a friend or a cousin? that you want them to follow God? Well, what you can do, you can help them by praying for them and by showing them that you love them, like um, sharing your toys with them or playing with them or even being there when they are sad. You can help them uh, by showing your love for them and teach them and lead them into knowing Christ. Remember our Bible point? We should love others like Jesus. So love like Jesus. Just what our Bible says in Mark chapter 12 verse 31. Love your neighbor as yourself. So, 
Let's do it again. You say it and sign the memory verse. Love your neighbor as yourself. It means we don't just love who live near us or those who are kind to us, but we love everyone we meet, even those who are not kind to us or those that are hard to love. So, remember that, little ones. Since our heart belongs to Jesus and Christ lives, lives in our hearts, we should be like Jesus. We should love all the people around us. So let's ask Jesus to guide us and to help us in loving people. Okay, so let's pray. This hands are praying, praying, praying. This hands are praying just like this. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us. Help us to be like Paul, by encouraging and comforting the people that we love. Help us to love all the people that we meet, including those that may be hard to love. Help us grow up to live lives that are pleasing to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening, little ones. Now let's go to Teacher May for our arts and crafts. See you later! Let's pray and ask God to help us to love others. Bye! Hi kids! For today's craft, Mikel and I are thinking of what to make that will help him show his love for others. Based on our Bible point, love others like Jesus. There are a lot of ways we can show our love for others as mentioned by Teacher Kathy in her Bible lesson. So Miguel decided to show his love and appreciation to our townhouse guard by giving him some healthy snacks, at the same time telling him that he would be praying for his safety and good health. We will put the snacks in the Owl Show My Love for Others bag that we will be making today. For this craft, you'll be needing paper bag, colored papers, pen or marker, scissors, and glue or paste. If you're ready, then let's begin. First, get a colored paper of your choice, cut it into square, then fold it into half. Next, Make the heart pattern by drawing the half of the heart shape like this. Cut the paper following the line and make two more pairs of small hearts. To make the eyes of the owl, get a rectangular shape colored paper and fold it into half. Using a plastic cup, draw a big circle, then cut it. Then make two more pairs of small circles. Please check if you have completed the patterns. So you have one big heart for the body, two small hearts for the feet and bow tie, the circles for the eyes, and cut a small triangle for the nose. And if you have completed the patterns, it's time to glue these patterns in the paper bag. Don't forget to write your message starting with the word OWL. You can put anything inside your OWL Show My Love for Others bag and you can just give it to anyone who you want to share your love with. Enjoy! Hello again little ones! Wow, we really had a good episode today. We hope you enjoyed and learned a lot. But before we go, let me see if you remember our memory verse for today. I will say the memory verse and you just have to complete the three missing words. Okay? Can you say the complete memory verse? Let's see. So our memory verse is from Mark chapter 12 verse 31. 
your ass. Okay, I will give you time to guess the three missing words. And then later, I will say the complete memory first. Timer starts now. Okay, I will say the complete memory first and check if you remember the three missing words. Okay, so our memory verse is from Mark chapter 12, verse 31. Love your neighbor as yourself. So were you able to guess the three missing words? Great. Good job, little ones. Thank you for that reminder, Teacher May. We are glad that you are here with us, little ones, and we hope you can join us again for our next Kids Life episode next Saturday. God bless you and goodbye! Said goodbye! Bye! Goodbye! Goodbye!